guys. <laughs> See this coming. Uh, <laughs> hey, honey. Uh, I'm good. You okay? Yes, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> A get together surprise congratulations to the greatest man of this world, my brother from another mother, my ace, my playmate, and uh, <laughs> the best man that loves me unconditionally. And doing everything possible to make sure that I'm happy and a proud wife. Wow. <laughs> I'm humbled. Yeah. All right. Let's toast to the greatest lawyer in this world. The man who refused to teach me nothing <laughs> but the <to> law. <laughs> I didn't see this coming sure. though. I didn't see this coming. It was a surprise. Right. Okay, right. there we go. Two more success to come, bro. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Um, guys, I'm completely blown away. I least expected to see everyone here. Um, I must say thank you for coming to celebrate with me. Natasha, thank you so much. Natasha is my private prosecutor and investigator. And uh, she's quite brilliant, very smart individual. Uh, thank you for what you do for me. Um, and thank you for coming to celebrate with me. I really do appreciate it. And Basil, you've been my friend. You've been my brother, my partner. Um, You've been such a great guy to me. I must appreciate your friendship. Thank you for your encouragement and uh, thank you for making me a better person. He's a good guy and above all, and my partner in progress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. I really want to say I appreciate everything. And most importantly, um, this is a very special moment for me. My wife, Lois, Edwards, Mokedi, I love you so much. And uh, I'll keep loving you until I die. She's been my world. She's been my best friend. She's been my backbone. She's everything a man needs in a woman. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for supporting me. And uh, I'm excited to share this moment with you. I love you. Hey guys, it's been two years. I've been working on this case for two years. Can you beat that? <laughs> Two years too stressful. <laughs> yes, and now we're here. We're, we're doing this now. We won the case, and so let's celebrate. Mm. Oh, sure. To success. To yes, success. To success. Right. Woo! <laughs> I am proud of you, Avalon. Thank you. Yes, your your closing argument was masterful. The jury almost gave you a standing ovation. Oh yeah. Well done, man. <laughs> Thank you very we much. We did it. Let's celebrate. Hey, go, uh, yeah. Did you see? Oh, yeah. Yes, hello, Dad. You called. So, Natasha. Okay, how did Yes. Hey, babe, who was that? Um, it was Daddy. Everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. He asked so, to see me, so. You're going now? Yeah. You coming back? Of course. Come on, I'll be back soon. You'll be fast about it. I know. Because I miss you. Mm. <laughs> I miss you more. 
Um, Natasha, Basil, right. please make yourselves comfortable, okay? Great. Right. Baby I'll will you. help you with that. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Take care of them. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, Natasha, um, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of you. Anything you want. Hey, boy. Mm. You're not a stranger, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm not a stranger. I'll be. I'll be right back. Just give me a second, okay? No problem. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Very affirmative. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't help but commend your efforts, bro. You see, the suspect was a drug dealer. He's been involved with insurrection, arson, and murder. So getting 25 years minimum from the law is a just measure. Hmm, you're right. Ah, uh, you see, um, I can say our city will have a little rest from crime stories surrounding him. Obviously. He was a vicious fellow, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. Your phone has been buzzing in the sitting room. I guess the caller is not giving up anytime soon. Oh, thank you. I'll just take it. Hello? Vicentia. Hi, Vin. Been a while. How are you? The truth remains that I never liked that man called Avalon. That is my husband we're talking about here. Oh, yes, I know. I allowed him to marry you because he got you pregnant. Watching you terminate the pregnancy would ruin my reputation and that was why I approved the marriage. <laughs> Dad, Avalon is a hard-working man. He's one of the best lawyers our school has ever produced. He has got prospects. And very soon, I believe his dreams will come to light and we'll all celebrate. Oh, shut your mouth, Lois, and stop being ludicrous. Avalon Woke, the prosecuted and jailed Mark Smith Otumba, one of my richest friends, who has been helpful to me financially and otherwise. Do you know the magnanimity of his action? Do you know? He has ruined the relationship I built over the years. And his submission made the Chief Justice rule against Otumba. Oh, I beg your pardon, Father. You were part of the jury that examined the submission of the prosecution and defense counsel. Why did you bring up such violent evidence that put my friend behind bars? Why? Tell me that. Father, you have always said that there is no best lawyer in a worst case. Let me tell you, Lois, I will definitely deal with Avalon. So you better start now to prepare a divorce suit against him. I love my husband, father, and I will not divorce him. Very well then, suit yourself. Suit yourself, Lois, but I tell you this. The wild wind of my vengeance is coming and it will sweep him and his family off their feet into the ocean. Excuse me? And by this comment you mean? Read my lips. I mean that I will not care that I am your father when I want to deal with Avalon and you will join him. I mean every bit of the words I have spoken. So do not say I did not warn you. Whoa, that was a long call, bro. Who was that? Yeah, an old friend. It's a couple of old friends. They are, you know, organizing a reunion party mm. and they want me in attendance. Mm. Yeah, and the convener is, guess who? Who? Vicentia Okunzuwa. Vicentia. Vicentia, yeah. Vicentia, Vicentia. That name rings a bell. Oh my goodness, Vicentia Okozua. Yeah. Your university girlfriend who vanished into thin air after graduation, right? Oh, same girl that made you go to law school with a broken heart. <laughs> oh, damn. You're not serious. Basil, you see, you have a, you have a sharp brain. 
A retentive one at that. <laughs> Makes me wonder why you're not a practicing lawyer. Oh, bro? Yeah. Uh, on the more serious note, I was wondering, mm -hmm. why would you want to dine with the devil again? I mean, you didn't hear from the heartbreak till you met Lois, your heart trouble. She's just an old friend, bro. She's just an old friend. Besides, she's married now. Oh, she's married? Yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> bro, Vicentia really dealt with you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> dealt, you said, bro. It's in the past. It's past tense. Look at me. I'm good now. I'm a lawyer. I'm called to bar. I defend people in court. I'm married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Lois Edwards Mukedi. I met her through you. Bro, I'm indebted to you, man. Come on, bro. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a harmless reunion party. And there's no way possible I'll go there without my wife. Good. I'm oh, sorry, let me take this call. Okay. Oh. Hello? Hey, hello. We used to be in the same school together. Sorry. I overheard your conversation with Basil. We were not in the same department. She was studying history and international relations. And I was studying... Criminal law. Hmm. A different faculty too. <laughs> A woman as beautiful as Vicentia cannot invite you to a party just for a reunion. What the hell are you talking about? She must have heard about your success story in the news and set up a party, calling it a reunion or whatever. I don't know. I guess you omitted the part where I said I'll be going there with my wife and Vicentia will be coming with her husband. You are a lawyer, and I am a private investigator. I am telling you now to be very careful. Be careful! Yes, be careful. Be careful so you don't end up like me. You all know how I got broke after a damn divorce. I lost my car, my home, my life savings, everything. But still, no one is trying to end up like you. A young man who lives in a mini apartment with a futon. I'm a very careful person, you know. Oh well. Very well then. I'll keep your comfort on the itinerary of no mistake. So babe, you want to see your dad? What was the urgent call about? He sends a shiftload of congratulations and he's acknowledged that you made him more proud when the verdict was announced in your favor by the chief judge. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm humbled. So, mm -hmm. since I did not make anything for my husband, right. I got some food from daddy's place. And guess what? What? They made your favorite fried rice and chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? You're also my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby. What? <laughs> Please stop, stop. Our son could walk in any minute. No, it's okay. My boy is fine. I'm kissing his mommy. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you eat before you eat? Hey. I'd rather eat before I eat. <laughs> Come here. Baby, stop. What? I just want to eat. Okay. Oh. Oh. Listen, I am grateful to God that I have you in my life. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And I'm grateful to know that I had you too. Maybe this is a dining table. So you be careful. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, please. Can you two get a room? What's the meaning of this? Really? Imelda, this is our house. Everywhere is a room in this house. <laughs> Everywhere is a room in my father's house. Are you serious? If I can remember correctly, this house was bought in my father's name. And as a street disciplinarian that he is, my father would like modesty and orderliness in his house, not this. How about you mind your business and call before coming to this house? That's modesty, you know? Can I call you when coming to my father's house? Yes. Who am I going to call? A half man like you? Imelda, that is harsh. Can you shut up? I'm not done talking and don't interrupt me. A half man like you? Excuse me, I should call you before I'll come see my sister in my father's house. Okay? Imelda, that was harsh. Oh, really? That was harsh. And you need to shush it right now. Shush what? You need to shush, shush it right now. Come back, I need to Maybe. tell you the truth. Imelda, shush I it. This is my husband's house. Excuse me, I am your sister. I need to tell this man the truth. If he yes. is good as he claims, he should come back, let him be a man. Why are you living on, under my father's roof? I don't get it. And you're telling me to shush it? And he said I should call him, call Woke, he call Avalo Woke for what? In my father's house, not even your house. I don't get it. Like, you be... Oh my goodness, I need to call my dad. There's no modesty in this house. There's no decency in this house. Nothing at all. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, Woke is eating chicken. Chicken. Really? Huh. You're too comfortable. You're too comfortable in my father's house. I know what to do. I am so sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. I know my sister can be really annoying sometimes. But please, I'm begging you, don't take it to heart. Please. But she's stating the obvious. I mean, I can't afford shelter for my family. How does that make me a man? But baby, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Today is your day, so you don't need anyone to make you feel bad. Don't allow anyone spoil your day for you. Mr. Assistant District Attorney, <laughs> baby. Listen, you know you always have a way to cheer me up and inspire me. I love you so much and I'll always make you proud. And I love you too. What's it? I got the job, baby. I got the job. What job? Baby, <clears throat> I actually booked a catering job with one of the new firms in town. And they just sent an email to me. Look. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's good news. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. Oh, wow. I mean, everything is happening so fast. That's good news. So tell me about this job. Oh. I see someone is back. So now your appetite is back. Why don't we go downstairs? And I tell you why we eat. Okay, anything for you. Let's mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> go. Oh, beautiful. So about the job, babe, how did you get it? Stop marking territories and please let her be. Let her live her life. What's your problem? Melda, stop. Stop what? I should stop what? Can't you see it? Can't you see what he's doing? When he feels insecure, he will get you pregnant and make you stay at home, restricting you from making your moves. That is what all men do. Honey is a... Um... It's a luncheon for the people in the art gallery. They saw my food blog and read my bio, that's it. What? That's good news.
you, sis? Really? Yes. Oh, so tell me, will you love to have a test taster? Oh, yes. I would love more than that. And if you want to make more money, you would help me prep and serve. Um, of course, I would like to make money. <laughs> Count me in, sis. <laughs> you see, I'm really, really excited. Oh. I'm so excited that I get to do this my catering job once again after a long time of being a nursing mother. You know, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Babe, I yeah. totally agree with you. You have worked very hard and it is time for you to shine because your hard work is paying off. I... I believe this new job would, you know, bring other opportunities, yeah. Amen. Um, baby, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. The luncheon is this Saturday and I hope he won't be mad. Are you serious? You hope he won't be mad? Mad for what? Is he a joy killer? Why would he be mad? After so many years of staying at home and now you got a job and you hope he won't be mad. He can get mad for all I care, but you see that job, you're going to get it and you're going to do it. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all of this. I'm also sorry that I won't be able to make it to your reunion. I would have really loved to see you win the Alumni Year Award. But the client said, if I do this catering job and do it so well, you know, I, I might just end up handling other events for her. That's yeah, okay, babe. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat. Mm? Eat. Obviously, father, he's such a braggadocious person. I wonder what came over you when you allowed him marry my sister. That is part of my problems that I want to correct. Dad, how do you intend to do that? Now that he's working stronger, he's even working with Adesoya, your enemy. I know that everything I did I have done for the sake of my dear daughter. But now that he has joined the Adesoyas to persecute my friend, Max Smith or Tumba, he has joined forces with the enemies to bite the very hand that fed him. And I'm going to deal with him squarely. Daddy Wade Pamper. My sexy wife who's getting pampered. Mm. 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 Uh -huh. So my father actually has his eyes on running for the House of Representative. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh that's great. And guess what? What? He wants my smart, my handsome, my beautiful husband mm -hmm. to be his legal advisor oh really yes and now you know this is huge baby this comes with lots and lots of rewards be it a house a big mansion a car a trip away from here my respectably honorably father would do anything and everything for you and for me your lordship. Lois, kindly you do me a favor. Tell your father I said thanks. But I honestly don't need anything from him. Yeah. 
as a good son-in-law, I'd rather appreciate everything he's done for us than ask for more. Baby. Yeah? Are you trying to say that you do not want a big mansion? Like a beautiful mansion? Lois, listen, I never said that, okay? Of course, I... I love beautiful mansions. I want a new house. But sometimes, a man has got to have his own house. And at this point, I can't keep relying on your father's wealth. All right, I have to make my own money. Besides, Imelda sees me, she thinks I'm a parasite. My own husband. My life. My king. My brilliant, sweet lawyer. A parasite. Baby, you and I know that's not true. Melda is not a problem here. Let me help you. You're stressed. Let me... What do you mean Lois will not be going with you? Um, you should book the last minute appointment with some art gallery. I think it has everything to do with her catering job. Ah. Yeah. You mean your wife won't be going with you to a reunion party where your ex will be? <sighs> Who does that, bro? Basil, there's nothing to worry about. Listen, I'm going to go there, catch up with Vin, have a couple of drinks and we both go back to our scheduled lives. Really? Yeah. Uh, if you say so. Ah, that reminds me. Yeah. Like you rightly said, mm -hmm. our husband will be there, right? Uh, so that will help you stay out of trouble and nostalgia. No. She texted me and said her husband won't be coming, so yeah. Avalon, are you being serious? What? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? You're asking me what I mean. What do I mean? <laughs> anyway, let me remind you that by the time Lois throws you out of her father's property, there will be no room available for you in my crib. <laughs> bro, come on, don't be funny. I promise to be careful, bro. Okay, you be careful. Let's head up. I promise to be careful, man. Oh, man. So, oh. Um, You haven't changed. Such a long time. I'm excited to see you again. Me too. <laughs> you see, in high school, you were so beautiful. You dressed seductively. <laughs> <cute>. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm happy to see you in flesh and not just on social media. You look good yourself. Thanks for the compliments. I mean, Look more charming than high school. Let's get more drink and toast to a word of the alumni of the year. Waiter! Right. Waiter! <sighs> Don't 
go. It's uh, it's pretty much amazing to see you again after all these years. Where the hell did you go? Well, I traveled overseas. Oh. Taking photograph assignments here and there, touring the globe. While you are here paving way for yourself in your political world, just as you said you would. <laughs> well, that's true. And look at you. I mean, I suppose you have seen the world just as you said you would. Yeah, because I, I, I thought you uh, vanished. You never texted. You never called. You just ghosted. That was your fault. It was your fault. Because you refused traveling with me. Vicentia, I couldn't have traveled with you. I mean, I gained admission to, you know, into law school. So I had to go to law school. Uh, you know, you are not as free-spirited as I am. I do what my air sign do. Being a Gemini, I just follow my mind. And when I see fire, I blow at it. Because fire needs air to keep burning. And probably some water to, to quench burning. <laughs> hey. doing how are you uh, i'm fine as you can see and you you're good i'm doing great oh that's good ah i can see you're enjoying yourself doing what you love and know how to do best <laughs> yes you did not go to the alumni get together with them uh no it's not for me it's just for members of his department not for the whole school anyway <laughs> and what are you doing here uh I uh, I came to check up on you mm -hmm. and to make sure everything is fine. Oh, my day has been absolutely amazing. It's been going on well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so have you caught my friend, your husband? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We haven't really spoken today. Oh, why not? You should. Yeah. But the news of his successful conviction of the district crime law is on air. Mm -hmm. And people have been sending congratulatory messages, you know. Okay. You should call him to check on him. Especially from the congratulations from the women folk. You have to make sure they're not alluring. <laughs> Say, listen to me, you are a very beautiful woman. And your husband, very handsome man. You must learn how to mark your territory to avoid inversion, you know. Sir, tell me. I never crossed your mind all these years. You never thought about looking for me. Hmm? <coughs> um, of, of course, I, I, I thought about it. I mean, you crossed my mind a couple of times. I mean, to think that I haven't seen you in a while. And uh, of course, I thought about you. I thought about you too. I missed you. After all, you never forget your first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you used to be my first. But that's right. Um, so, uh, let's toast to first love, like you said. First love. Yeah. <laughs> and the best love. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I have to take this call. Take your time. Sorry. Hey, honey. Hi. Hi, sugar. Hi. How are you? I'm good. 
Honey, they loved everything, like the luncheon was amazing. From the buffet to the appetizer and the main dish, everybody was just talking about it. Oh, babe, I'm excited. I'm glad to hear it went well. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and guess what, honey? They promised to give me more catering jobs at the art gallery. Oh, that's, that's good, babe. Your, your food is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, honey. And I cannot wait to tell you everything in details. Babe, I can't wait to hear it. But it has to be when I get back home, okay? I have to go now. All right, I love you. Sorry about that. No, oh, it's fine. I guess it's your wife checking on you. Oh yes, my wife called me. Uh, so, where were we? I guess I was about telling you that you were my best. <laughs> mm. Was I? You've always been. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. So, um, what is it? Oh, nothing. We're done talking. Oh, no, you're not done talking. Okay. <sighs> You know, maybe someone out there is trying to distract him. A lot of people want to associate with success. But you are his wife. So you should spend more time with him on the phone. Call him again. Call him. He's your husband. <laughs> I'll just call him later. Yes, later. He he might just be busy. Okay. Yes. That's so um, <laughs> I was actually going to. Uh, let me get you something oh. since we're here already. Uh, uh, no, no, let me just see you. Okay. Oh. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Uh, my friend's wife. Off. That bastard. After everything I did for him. I clothed him, I sheltered him, I feed him, I also gave him my daughter for a wife. And now he wants to embarrass me? Dad, please, it has not been proven that he cheats on me or he cheated on me. These things are just mere imaginations born out of Basil's insinuation. So you are waiting for him to cheat before you can react on it? Basil would not have made such insinuation if he had no proof. He's the one that saw the skeletal possibility of your husband cheating before he came to tell us. Okay, so I should leave my marriage. I should divorce him. Is that it? You would do no such thing. You want the dailies and social media to carry the news and ruin my political ambition. Dad, what has your political ambition got to do with me filing for a divorce based on infidelity? It has got a lot to do with it. It means that I cannot care for my home. It means I did not train my child well. Because he can grant an interview that can exonerate him. It means I am not capable to handle common conflict. It means... Oh, Dad, please. Please, please, please. Let me handle my marriage the way I should. What is this? It means, it means, it means... Please, I'm tired. Could this be a dilemma? The devil cannot use my daughter against me. Never. Right, 
my room. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, I have to go. Thank you for working me to my room. Yeah, I mean, anything for an old friend, right? Sure. Oh, great. So, Vin, I have to go. Uh, I enjoyed my time with you. So, take care, yeah? See you some other time. <laughs> I've learned. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hey, stop. I'm married. I told you. Yeah, but we can do whatever we want, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come in. Oh. You were insatiable last night. What? I guess you want more, right? Hmm? Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Listen, I have to go home. Now! Why? Come on. Just stay in bed and rest. Hmm? Vin, nothing happened between us. This never happened. Oh, come on. I will be so glad to refresh your memory. Stop it! This was a mistake. I have to go. Listen, I have to go to my wife. And you should go to your husband, now! Look, Avila, we're no longer in school. We are two consenting adults. <laughs> Nobody has to know about us. What? Us? There is no us! Never! You know, you're sounding way different than you sounded last night. So romantic and loving. You're mad. Listen, I'm going back to my wife. You should go back to your husband. Leave me alone. This never happened. And you're just coming back home to see your wife. Avalon, what responsible man does that? Lois, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand what I'm talking about? Really? Avalon, I hope that reunion of yours wasn't an avenue for you to go see other women. Who's been talking to you? Are you accusing me of something? My love, I'm sorry. 
I really am. It's just that you not coming back home, I was paranoid. Please, I'm sorry. I'm not accusing you of anything. No responsible man goes out and sleeps out. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. All right, let me go make something for you to eat. Under the section 408 of the Nigerian Criminal Code. Okay, thank you. Basil, what the hell is wrong with you? It's been two weeks. The documents are not ready. There's no need for second locution around here. Just tell me when the documents will be ready. Listen to me. There's no need for circumlocution around here, okay? Hey, come on. Come on, bro. You shouldn't be hard on me like that, okay? I need some rest. Oh, is it because you won the biggest case of your career two weeks ago? Let me breathe, okay? Basil, putting Mark Smith away was just the first step. And I'm very excited about it. And if you must know, justice never sleeps. All right? So get your ass up and do your job. Well, it's all good. I'm doing it, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, my legal luminary and my legal advisor on political matters. You're welcome, sir. I've not come to see my son-in-law. I have come to see Barrister Avalon Wokebu. The ace prosecutor of crime and the carrier of good justice. I'm very humbled, sir. Well, how about being the district attorney when I become the representative of our Zoom at the lower chamber of the legislature where at this federation? I'll, I'll be very delighted, sir. Good. We'll be having lunch with the governor today or maybe drink at the golf club. Um, anything you say, sir. Very well then. See you later. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is your father in law. Very pompous man. He has pride. Every day I'll be greeting him. He'll be acting as if he's not seeing me, as if I'm invisible. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Edwards is a good man. So watch your mouth. I gave him an offer, and I'm sure he'll take it. We'll be having drink with His Excellency this evening. We can actually buy him over from there. One step at a time, Honorable Sir. I can always count on you because, just like your mother, you are a schemer. Daddy, stop it. We have the key. <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, help okay. Me. Hey, what is it? What's the problem? Nothing. Come on, man. Don't give me that crap, okay? I can see it. 
I mean, the look on your face shows there's something wrong, so spill it out. What is it? Do you remember the night I attended my college reunion? Mm, of course I do. I remember I told you not to go because your ex would be there. Yeah. A lot happened that night. So I, I had so much to drink and to cut a long story short, I found myself in Vicentia's hotel room. I don't know how I got there. How do you mean you don't know how you got there? How? Basil, it was a, it was, it was a blurry night. I can't remember a single thing. Damn. You should have told me. Wait a minute. Uh, does Lois know you slept with the censure? Come on, Basil. You don't expect me to break her heart with such episode? No. I beg of you, okay? Do everything humanly possible to make sure Emelda doesn't know what happened. Of course I can't do that. She's going to kill me. Somebody know. As for Vicentia, this is what we're going to do. You are going to state the rules to her. Whatsoever happens at the reunion gets buried at the reunion period. I wasn't expecting you home this early. What happened? So, Mr. Mokedi closed from work early today because he needed to spend time with his family. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with that? I uh, know. I don't. Right. I'm actually happy. But baby, I thought you had um, a meeting with my father and the governor. I called to cancel because my family is more important. Excuse me? You called to cancel the appointment? Yes. Because my family is more important. Do you have a problem with that? No, sir. Good girl. 
I'll just get my back on the car. Okay. Do you want to come? No, I'll wait for you here. Timing my return. Timing your return? Yeah. I mean, what are we celebrating? This is a special meal for the best husband in the world. Aww. Hmm. Thank you, my darling. I love you. I love you more. Okay, so how about we skip the meal and go straight to dessert? <laughs> Maybe, hold on. What? Please. Why don't I give you the new splash? And what's the new splash? Mm hmm. You see your beautiful wife. Yeah. Your queen. Mm hmm I know. This queen. Of course I know you're a queen. She just got hired to cater for an event this weekend. Really? Oh yes. Wow. Baby, are you serious? I'm very serious. Congratulations, my queen. Thank you, honey. Mm. Mm. I love you so much. I love you more. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know, all thanks to you, because if I hadn't missed that reunion, right. I wouldn't have gotten this job. You know, the job I did while you were away mm -hmm. gave birth to this one. Uh, listen, mm, I'm proud of you. I'm always proud of you. Thank you. I'll do anything for you. Why are you being all emotional? I'm just excited. I mean, all of your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Would you do anything for me? Of course. All right, follow me. Get up. <laughs> Just follow me. Just follow me. Okay. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> Babe, I have something to tell you. When I went for the university reunion party, I... Babe. Hey, hey, hey! Oh! I see my friend is stepping out without informing me. Huh? My guy! <laughs> I should have known! Oh, my guy is into courtship with another woman. I see. No wonder! No wonder you don't want to carry me along. Huh? Basil, you have the wrong information. I'm actually going to pay my wife a surprise visit. She's catering at uh, a company in town. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I don't. You're skipping lunch with me, yet you have a bunch of flour in your hand. Anyways, say me hi to Lois. Really? 
All right, how about you do that yourself, face to face? You really want me to come? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Hey, let me tell you. So I'm going there. You know you like hookups. You would find pretty girls there. Yeah, food and drinks. Mm. And guess what? You know you don't like to buy drinks. You're waiting for me to buy for you. Trust me. Free drinks, free food, free women. You like to complain about the economic situation of the country. You'll find some there if you come with me. I don't want to find some. I want to find many. Let's go. <laughs> Wonderful way to attract the eyes to a welcome. This picture is hot. Damn. could be the model in the picture. It's lucky to have enjoyed this beautiful feminine skin all along. No, 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 no. This is actually a puzzle I need to unscramble. This is photography. I see. A branch of graphic design. I see. This is amazing. And this is a more distinct, computerized kind of art. Photoshop. Interesting. Mm. Now, this is a rose. Huh? This is amazing. Beautiful. Right? I love this. <laughs> How? Oh, Essentially, you're such an amazing artist. Thank you. Oh, hi, honey. Hey, Please babe. Tell me you were coming. Oh, no. Surprise to see you. I wanted to surprise you, my love. Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. Flowers. This is sweet. Yeah. You Thank like you. It? Of course, I do. All right. You okay? <clears throat> oh, yes. Baby. Yeah. This is Vicentia. She's the artist, come photographer of all the amazing artwork. And also the owner of V Magazines. Yes. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Um, Vicentia, this is my husband, Avalon Wokedi. All right. And that's his friend also and brother, Basio. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is a great piece of work you got here. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll feed my eyes. Oh, sure. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Avalon. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Have I seen you anywhere? Um, I don't think so. Are you sure we've not met before? I can't recall. Ah, my husband's face is just all over the place ever since he won the Max Smith Otumba's trial. Absolutely. Yes, a few weeks ago. Oh, maybe. Uh, probably someone must have emasculated himself to be who he truly is not. Mm. By that, making himself look like you, so I mistook him for you. 
That happens always, like every time. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your wife is an amazing chef. Please. Everyone was raving about her food. Uh, yeah, uh, right, right. That's why I'm very proud of her. You see, the wife I married is good at everything she does. <laughs> You're a very lucky man. I know. Baby? Yeah. Why don't you go lower basin? Yeah, right? I'll just, right? uh, all right, take care. I love my husband. I know. I can see that. Yes. So, uh, yes. Back to the rose. Yes, back to the rose. <laughs> so, um, you know, when... Honey? Yeah? Did you see Vicentia's photos? Yes, I did. You know, she calls those photos her most personal works. And those photos, they speak volume. Really? Oh, yes. You know, I've been trying to get her to tell me who the man in the picture is. Uh, Did she? No, she didn't. She says it's her little secret of discretion. What do you have to say about that? Babe, aren't you ready to go home? No. Let's stay a little bit longer. Please. I can see you both are... Uh getting along oh yes we are she has got an amazing personality i love her vibe superb you know honey it's so much fun to feel a little outdoor simulation embellished with artistry tell me what do you have to say about her gallery her gallery is top notch vicentia owned this place Oh yes, she owns everywhere. She renovated the loof. Guess what, honey? She loves my cooking. And she's given me another contract, making it the third time. <laughs> third time? Oh yes. I thought it was the first. No, my first, no. Honey, she was the one who contacted me via social media to prepare, you know, the luncheon during your school reunion. She was the one who gave me that contract. It's not a coincidence after all. What's not a coincidence? Honey? Hmm? You just said that's not a coincidence after oh, all. Oh, I said let's go home. Come, let's go. You really want us to go home? Bye. 
No matter what happens, this nonsense ends tonight.
Bisecha! Bisecha! What the hell are you doing with my wife? You are so photogenic, Avlon. What in God's name are you doing with my wife? She's a talented caterer. And I needed her for the shows. Plus, she's good for the job. <laughs> You need to stop. Right now! I've been trying to reach you so that we can talk. Did you get my messages? Vicentia, you need to stop all of that. Stay the hell away from my wife. You need to stop right now. Stop the text messages. Stop the calls. Stop the voice notes. What about us? What? What about everything we shared? Even before your wife. What about us, Avalon? Hmm? Vin. You're totally out of your mind. You're totally out of control. There was no us. There is no us. There will never be us. That is where you got it wrong. That is certainly where you got it wrong. I'm pregnant with our baby. <laughs> So you see, we are going to be a family. Baby. Daddy. Oh? You can't be pregnant. I saw the used condoms. Oh yes, the first time. As for the second time, I think we both were a little too cut up. And what makes you think the child is mine? Avalon, 
You are the only man I have been with. What stupid games are you trying to play? You're trying to ruin my life, aren't you? No. How can I ruin your life, sweetheart? I am trying to plan for a very beautiful future for us, honey. What about your husband? That one. He cheated on me. And he left me. Totally means there's no future for us. Please. I understand You're trying to destroy my family. But I'm sorry, that's not going to work. No. Oh, come on, sweetheart. We are happy family now. Daddy, he did not tell me that he was going anywhere. I have. I tried reaching him, but his phone is here. His phone is in the house. <laughs> I, I can't tell anything about his whereabouts. I, I cannot. <laughs> okay. Um, should I call the police? Do I call them? I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't. No, no, no. Just hold your peace. Hold your peace. If he does not return, then I'll take it up from there. Yes. Just go to your room. Hold your peace. Calm down. Okay? Please. That's my daughter. Let it not be that someone else has outsmarted me to lay hold on him. I must do something. Hello? Yeah, Akune Bioku. Yes, I have to make this call to you. Hold on, please. Okay, baby, here. Take drink water oh. so you calm down. Oh. What happened? Babe, I love you so much. I love you more. I have something to tell you. <laughs> baby, please, whatever it is can wait. We'll talk about it while in bed, okay? I'll run the water for you so you take your bath. All right? Follow me, please. What happened to you? Baby, please come. Babe, are you not done? Oh, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. 
You know, I woke up to make love to my husband, only to realize that he's nowhere to be found. A whole lot of things went through my mind, but seeing you walking through that door, I realized that you're stressed and you need rest. Babe, I'm just... Shh. Baby, make love to me. What? Yes. You know, we can ease each other's stress. Please. Babe, I... Hey, um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your heartbeat is not stable. Let me make it stable for you. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll do it. I don't need you going up. Just stay here. First, I put you in my plans. And afterwards, your life will be overturned. Whatever Vincentia wants, she gets. And if she cannot get, she destroys. I am a winner. I never lose. Instead I lose, everybody loses. And to my rivals. Losing is just a double loss. For me, I am glad nobody won. What a reward. A pleasurable one at that. Watching people go through the pains of losing. Babe, we need to talk. My hero, we can always talk about anything tomorrow. Right now, I want to sleep. And I want to enjoy the satisfaction that you just gave me. Please. Babe, it's important. Baby, what's more important now is for you to cuddle me. And we sleep. Okay? All right. Asking you, boy, what responsible man will leave his family in such unholy hour of the night? Sir, so I'm very sorry about that. I had an emergency, I had to attend to it. Attend to personal situations, you say, without ensuring the safety of your family first? 
What responsible man does that? My apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Well, I believe you are dating another woman. Or you have joined my political rivals. And you are now having meetings, night meetings with them. That explains it. Uh, no. Sir, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Now, let me remind you. I clothed you in your school days. I made your miserable life meaningful. To pay me back for my magnanimity, you deceived my daughter and seduced her into getting pregnant for you. In a bid not to ruin the reputation I built over the years, I allowed you to marry her and gave you shelter. Avalon, everything you have, I gave you. Dad, is that why you are here? Don't shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Now listen, this house is mine and I'm giving a standing order. Immediately it is 8 p.m. Nobody comes in or goes out of this house. And Avalon, if you dare disobey this order, not only will I throw you out of this house, but I will ensure that your license for legal practice is seized. Did I make myself clear? Do not say I didn't warn you. Better join my party. Isn't it obvious your father came all the way to rub my woes out my face? I I am sorry, honey. I didn't know it would get to this. I only called my father because I was worried about you. I was scared that something must have must have happened to you. And I'm sorry. I didn't know he was going to come here and and try to make you feel less. Please. Please forgive me. My mistake is just loving you so much. So what case are we tackling this time? This conversation is strictly confidential. It is very private. It is not tied to any case. It must be kept between us. Understood? Interesting. I pledge to discreet approach. I'm listening. Take a look at that. Vincentia Kuzua. Right. Few details about her in my possession. I want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find. Like I said, this should be between us. I heard you the first time. Good. Do you know if she's dangerous? Honestly, I, I have no idea. I don't know. The reason I want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find, but 
you have to be very discreet about it. Careful and stay safe. Okay. Did you sleep with her? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I already know. So. Listen, just do what you have to do. Figure out what she's planning. And let me know. So, two words of advice for you. Learn how to stay faithful in your marriage. And secondly, I think you should tell your wife about everything. Think to come to climb here, you must join the clique of men that controls power. Um, I guess my coming was timely, sir. Sit down, let's get straight to the point. Thank you, sir. I'm going to fix another appointment with the governor and you must ensure that we get the governor's endorsement and that of the party chairman. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to beat the loser at the polls, sir. We are not beating anybody. We are going to win on a landslide victory and the person we are going to use to achieve that is you. That's fine, sir. But I hate to lose. The governor will proceed to the House of Senate and I, the House of Reps. When we get there, we right all wrongs. Grant Max Mito Tumba amnesty and that's it. <clears throat> that's fine, sir. I understand the puzzles of the game. Quite interesting. You have made so much impact in the legal field over the years. You have won the toughest cases. On which hand you have mastered the politics of the state. So you see, you need to make a logical choice in your career. To step up, make all the money you want, and have the government protect you. Thank you very much, sir. And um, I must appreciate you and thank you immensely for having faith in me. I promise not to fail you. Let me remind you, when you climb the top spot, you have the bull's eyes painted on your back. In the game of politics, sometimes it is tough to know the good guy from the bad guy. So you need to be careful. I'll do my best, sir. Now listen and listen good. You must not have any skeleton in your closet. Because when we bring you to the fold, if we find out that your slate is not clean, you are as good as dead. And I don't want to begin to regret being instrumental to making my dear daughter, Lois, widowed by your own mistakes. Um, quite understood, sir. Um, this is my cue to leave. I have to attend to other things at the office. Okay. See you. Thank you for your time, sir. You're welcome. 
Hi. Hi. You're on my way. I need to get into my car. My name is Mirabel. And you are? Um. Oh, my name is Avlo. Nice to meet you. I need to get into my car. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get in my car. It's okay. Hey, get out! You're on my way. Move away. I pulled a copy of Essentials Hotel Receipts from the reunion and when I ran a check on it, it turned out to be fake. No such address exists. So why didn't the, the hotel flag a fake address when they ran the credit card during the time of payment? Another interesting question to ask. Harun was prepared with a credit card from DCC Enterprises. Very interesting. How would a third party pay her bills at the reunion party? You tell me. You went to the same school with her. Apparently, it was my first time of seeing her after graduation. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something. Which is? I'll keep digging. You know you were right. I should tell my wife everything. Good luck with that, Mr. Avalon Okay. I'll be in my office. so happy for you. Please tell me, when did you find out? Say two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My husband is back. Hey, baby. <laughs> I am going to tell my husband. Sure. <laughs> baby, how are you? How was your day? Mama was it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I missed you. Vicentia, I'm so... Baby, sit down. Let me tell you something. Vicentia here told me that she's pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant for who? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Avalon. <laughs> I am so blessed. <laughs> I mean, a baby on the way, a new arts gallery, an awesome business partner. Uh, Mrs. 
vexatious stuff. <laughs> Coming back to this country is the best thing I did. <laughs> okay, you see, this calls for celebration, right? I'm going to get champagne for the newest mama in town. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> one minute. Oh my god, I'm so Oh my god. Okay, this is it. For you. Just for you. Life's dead. Don't worry. I just realized I have another appointment in town. Oh. And I need to leave now. Okay. Because of the traffic, you know. And my car's at a mechanic. But here. Oh yes. Yes, yes that's true. Yeah. Um Thank you. Babe. Here. A check. Oh, thank you so much, Miss no, Angel. You know, I'm really excited about the new event we're going to be having soon. <laughs> and I cannot wait. Vicentia, I've been writing down amazing menu suggestions. You can't believe it. That will be wonderful. <laughs> um, I hope you don't mind. My husband can drop you nope, off. Nope, I, I can't do that. Oh, it, uh, that would be nice. I would appreciate. <laughs> no, no, my car refused to start earlier. Baby, yeah, baby. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> baby, please, um, you know, he's going to do it. Thank you. All right, baby. Bye. Congratulations once again. Thank I really you. Do. Thank you oh so much. God. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mr. Avlin, for accepting. <laughs> No, no drink. Okay. Thank you so much. See and you. when you're back, we'll see you. Yeah, sure. I knew that to give Lois a check. And you know, for, for us to plan ahead for the next catering event. And to also see my man. Vicentia. Hmm? Whatever happened between us was a mistake. Do you understand? Stay the hell away from my family. I'm not playing games with you. Come on, baby. Stop acting like you do not have feelings for me anymore. Because hmm? you know that lies cannot come between us. And I know you still want me. Just the way my honeypot craves for your stickle spoon. You can even have me in your car, if you don't mind. You have gone stark raving mad. Oh yes. Yes I have. Anything to get you back to me. Anything. Anything she could. Get down. Come on. Get off my car! I know you want to. Have me in your car. Let's try it. I mean, yes, quiet. Get out. Thinking of suicide. It depends on what you mean. Oh, 
Vincentia never graduated from the university. Yeah, I mean... I think she didn't graduate because her father was sick. It was an emergency, so she left school to attend to her sick dad. Maybe that's what she told you. But according to her transcript, she never graduated. In fact, the school asked her to leave. Are you kidding me? Your girl was busy writing bad checks to the school and all her sworn affidavits were lies. When the school found out, they dismissed her. They asked her to leave and promised not to press charges. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I wish I was kidding. After her university scam, she pretty much fell off the radar and she was out of this planet. Yeah, I remember she said she traveled abroad to focus on her photography and I guess that's why you didn't find anything about her. I don't care. I don't care what she told you, Mr. Avalon. Listen, she's still a citizen of this country and should have bank records, address and national identification number. Of course. You're right. Check this out. What? Vicentia has been to jail? Your ex-girlfriend was caught up in a scam in Abuja. And just about when the judges wanted to press charges, a call was made through and um, the charges were reduced. Vicentia's charges were reduced? By reduced, I mean dropped. Wait. Who the hell made the call? Exactly my point. I'm still trying to figure it out. Why do I feel there's more bad news? <sighs> Another thing I found out. Her name is currently listed as one of the owners of DCC Enterprises. <sighs> An art gallery space she inherited three months ago. But this woman does not have any bank record. No, um, no tax records, nothing. The question is, how was she able to rent an art gallery without any financial record. Vincentia is a crafty woman and she knows her ways around her clothes. I ran a check and I found out that she took over the gallery space and she's running it in the name of DCC Enterprises. Did you say DCC Enterprises? Wait. The same company that paid her hotel bills during our reunion. The same company name on the check Vicentia gave my wife. Who the hell is DCC Enterprises? I'm still trying to figure it out. But whoever it is, they're trying to hide themselves. But not to worry, there must be a way out. Tasha, you're doing a great job, but you have to keep digging. All right? Because I'm not about to let this devil ruin my family and everything I have worked for. Do you understand? Yes, boss, I do. Good.
为如果睇住唔系佢。All that question does not matter. That young man in there is my brother-in-law. Stay away from him. If you try to destroy his home, you will have me to contend with. Idiot. I know what I saw. I even had to accost the lady myself. Imelda, what did my husband and I ever do to you and daddy? Avalon did everything. Can't you see it? Your husband is a womanizer. He's a cheat. He is everything bad. Get that. And I know that is why he got you through his selfish century drama and you followed him. Can't you see it? If you're not careful, he is going to bring another woman to your home. Imelda, I trust my husband. He will do no such thing. Oh, you trust your husband. Wait, let me shock you. Is this not your husband? Mm-hmm. Is this not your husband hugging a woman in front of a hotel? Is this? Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is now his office, his new office. Imelda, what were you doing in a hotel yourself? Is that your office? Um, well, I, I actually went there to see a friend. I went to negotiate business with my friend. Yes? Same thing my husband went to do. To see a client. To talk about his business. That's it. Imelda, please, I beg you. You are my sister. Do not try. Please don't try to cross the lane to a being a marriage counselor. Are you okay? You were in a hotel. You met him in a hotel. He was in a hotel too. What were you doing? Is that your office? No, that's not his office. You both went to. See we are talking about your. Hey, babe. Hi. You okay? I, yeah, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was on my way to go pick up. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi. Um, Avalon, <laughs> where else did you go to today? Aside your office. Oh, really? I know that look. <laughs> That's the look you get when a cheat is on a hot seat. Imelda, my husband is not on a hot seat. He's not. Babe, it's okay. Um, can I get some water to drink? Of course. All right. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. Listen, you know what your problem is? Do you know why you're not yet married? I mean, doesn't it bother you? I'll tell you why. Because you don't mind your business. You have no respect for people's privacy. You talk too much. You're very flippant. Men don't like women who talk too much. And I can sense that you don't know how to treat a man. Which explains why your sister, your younger sister got married before you. I'll tell you what to do. You need to change. You need to rebrand your character. You need to work on yourself. Because you're getting old. You're not getting any younger. Doesn't that bother you that as pretty as you are, men don't say hello to you? I'm very, very worried for you. Listen to me. Like I said, you need to work on yourself. You need to change, you need to switch. You need to think about having kids because your biological clock is ticking. I'm sure you don't want to hit menopause. Think about it. Cheat? No, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. 
Cheat! You're talking to me! <laughs> I'll so deal with you, don't worry. Car, but don't go close to it. Don't go close to it. Follow the car, but don't drive too close to it. Don't lose it. Okay, okay, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down a bit. the car but don't go close to it Behind the car, but don't lose it. Now you have lost it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? I told you drive behind the car, but don't lose it. What do you want me to do now? Vicentia, what the hell are you up to? Mind your business. Mind my business? Vicentia, my business is stay the hell away from my life and that of my family. I want a pound of flesh. And a pound of flesh I shall get. Think that. Check this out. Basil. 
I'm not ready to see any social media updates right now. Hey, come on, trust me. You need to see this. What okay? is it? Your girlfriend. She's pregnant. She announced it on social media. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. No? Come on, what's going on? I thought you said she's married. How come our status is showing complicated? Basil, I'm not ready to have this conversation. Besides, I'm busy. Is there something you're not telling me? First, you met your ex who's supposed to be married. But secondly, she started sex chatting you, sending you nude videos. Thirdly, all of a sudden she's no longer married and now she's expecting a baby. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Bro, you're my best friend, okay? I know when something is happening, when something is going on. But if you decide to keep it to yourself, no problem, okay? I'm good. So tell me, how long have you been a photographer? Mm -hmm. I started shooting in college. My boyfriend was my first subject. Your boyfriend? That sounds scintillating. Do you guys still keep in touch? Uh, we haven't seen in years. But recently, we reconnected on social media. You are so lucky to have such a wonderful husband. <laughs> Thank you. Avalon is my soulmate. He's an amazing husband. He is so supportive and successful at the same time. Thank you. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your boyfriend saying about your pregnancy? Oh, Vicentia, please. I am, I am sorry. I am sorry, I didn't mean to pry, trust me, please. I didn't mean that. It's not that actually. What is it then? In addition to eating everything in sight these days, I have been miserably emotional these days. Vicentia, I understand. Hormones can be all over the place, especially during your first trimester. I feel that actually. Then what is it, my friend? Please tell me. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Oh God. It's okay, I'm listening. Just go ahead. I am so ashamed of myself. I don't want you to hate me. Hate you? How can I hate you? Why, why should I hate you? You have been a good friend. You are a sweetheart. And please allow me to help you. Tell me, what is it? Please don't judge me. The father of my baby is married. Okay. okay. Married. What's he saying about the baby and what about his wife? Oh, that. He said he loves me and he wants to leave his wife to be with me. They haven't been happy in years. He said the passion died. But he's just been sticking around her to buy time. Oh, um... Uh... <clears throat> I see. <laughs> you know, everything will work out accordingly in the end. Okay? What's, um... All you need to do now, Vicentia, is to take care of yourself and your child. That's paramount. Alright? You're such a good friend. Since I got back to this country, I haven't been really lucky to meet lots of people. <sighs> But, I am happy to have you. Thank you. Um, 
so tell me what what are you going to do about the pregnancy what's what's he saying he's leaving me with no choice i'm going to tell him to choose between she or i Any findings for me? Yes. Check this out. What's the update? I stopped by the leasing company that Vincentia rented the gallery art space from. Mm -hmm. I found out that she has paid for a full year upfront, but this time with the cashier check from the DCC Enterprise, drawn from the Big Wig Bank of Industries account. <sighs> Good job. Can we get access to bank details? bank accounts and stuff like that yes of course All that right. will be my next stop tomorrow we have to visit there should there should be a name somewhere on the list we have to find who has been making all these payments all right this is quite impressive keep me updated don't take your foot off the gas all right i'm your boss okay. um boss have you told your wife about it i'll see you tomorrow um mr avalon yeah Forgiveness is always a dependent me of confession. Baby, is everything okay? Plain, I... See, Avalon, I am really, really grateful to God that I have you. I am. You are? Yes. I mean, I mean I'm grateful to God that I have you too. You see, Vicentia was here. And she was telling me the story of uh, the father of her baby being an unhappily married, stupid man. Hmm. Um, you mean she told you that? Oh, yes. She told you she's, she's having an affair with a married man? Yes, she did. She's having an affair with a married man and she's actually waiting for the man to leave the wife. According to her, she said the man said that there is no more passion in his marriage. So he wants to leave the wife. And I'm sure that woman doesn't know anything concerning this. Babe. That sounds like a terrible situation. Yes, it is. Oh. It is. Because you should see her talk. She's really in love with that man.
Babe, um, don't you think you're getting too involved in this woman's life? I mean, I don't want you getting wrapped up in all of her drama before you relaunch your career, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... You feel like what? Vicentia has been of a tremendous help to me. In fact, because of her, my social media followers has grown. Even my financial state is, is, is okay now. You, you can testify to that. All of that happened because you are good at what you do. You are an amazing chef. You don't need her. Baby, it's a little bit too late for that because I already signed a contract with her. Like, she hopes her art gallery becomes successful so she can take care of herself and the baby. You know, well, you don't know, but I know that she does not have a man like you by her side. You know, a patient, understanding, successful man. So that's it. So did she tell you what she intends to do about her child's father? <laughs> oh, well, she said she's going to give the man an ultimatum. It's either her and the baby, or she's going to go tell the wife of the man. <laughs> it's really funny because that man is a stupid man. Very, very stupid and silly. Instead of him to look for ways to, you know, make the marriage okay, maybe take his wife out on a vacation, maybe buy her stuff, bring her flowers, or probably sit her down and talk. Maybe they've sat down together and spoken before, but he's supposed to do more. Everything my father is doing is geared towards making you a better person of great influence. Right. Yes. And anything better than money is more money. Right. Yes. So that you can climb higher. I'll, I'll try my, my best to make him happy. But that can be difficult sometimes, you know? That's okay. I'll do my best. Okay. You be good. Be a good boy and make sure you guide my territory. <laughs> my mother's a good boy. Listen, I have to run along. Um, the meeting with the governor is a long one, so I'll be back tomorrow. No problem. I'll come around if necessary. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Mm. You take care. Hey. Thank you. I have to go. You'll be good. Mm? See, take care of your mom. All right? Will you? Right. No. Bye. All right. Let's go. Come on, babe. Come on. I will send you the room number, okay? That's my girl. Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'll see you there. Bye.
hey. Come on, man. What's with that look? We are out here to enjoy ourselves, okay? And to take advantage already. So, drink up. Basil, um, I apologize for my silence. I'm just, uh, just a bit worried, you know. I've got, I've got so much on my mind, and I'm afraid I, I, I don't want my family to tear apart. I understand you, bro. Just calm, okay. Everything will take shape. Yeah, sooner or later, everything will take shape, okay? What do you think, Father? Everybody has a price. But I don't trust him. Brother, you don't like him. Exactly. You don't need to dislike him. He's our tool. A good workman must not quarrel with his tool. But Father, why, why did he come with a company if he really trusts us? That should be the least of your problem. You just use him for politics and that is it. The governor is here. Oh. Let's go meet him. Barry Starvalor wants to meet the number one citizen of our DST. His Excellency, Dr. Osinaka Mbadunubu. Your Excellency, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I've heard so much about you. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. You look good and reserved. I hope your charming smiles and comportment will not be a decoy. Um, Your Excellency, I'm just being myself. Good. <laughs> You know, politics is a big business. And the political sphere is entirely a different world altogether. Can you swim the tide? Your Excellency, I think uh, Barrister Mokedu will make a wonderful special assistant to the party and also pass for the secretary to the state government after the elections. That's good. I am glad to hear that. But you know, such appointment requires a lot of hard work. It's multiple tasking. And it demands someone with high flexibility. Your Excellency, I think Barrister Wokedu is equal to the challenge, considering the antecedent of his uh, achievement. I hope you consider giving him your endorsement. Hmm. Hmm. Keep your nose clean, boy. The job is yours. Your Excellency, you don't necessarily need to bother about his uh, allegiance. He's a very terrible boy. 
et le aller s'amoncer. That's all I want to hear. But you have to play your card well. And if you do, from glory to glory, you will rise to the office of the governor of the state. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Your Excellency. I'll be very delighted to serve the state sometime in the future. Your Excellency. That's good. That's all right. Mr. Edward, Your Excellency, please send him in. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, sir. Speaking to the next governor of the state. By the grace of God! <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah! Bro! Don't forget me. Whoa! Damn, bro! Sound like a done deal! Congratulations to the next SSG of the state! <laughs> I must tell you, bro. Mm. It's not done until it's done. This has always been the plan. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. You're damn right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you see? Perfect life. Perfect wife. You got a world in your hands, bro. Damn, I envy you. <laughs> Basil. You can be like me. You can have the same thing. Life is what you make of it. Yeah. No. My case is different. I have worked so hard, struggled to get the accolades and congratulations, but to no avail. I mean, people don't even see me the way they see you. You're like a god in human form. Yes, you are. Basil, you're wrong. Listen, maybe you've been playing the game, but not by the rules. Whatever we do in life, we do it to make positive results. You have to keep pushing, bro. Listen, life is not fair. Life is not fair, but you have to keep pushing. You have to be consistent. <laughs> Congratulations. Everything about your success story is happening so fast. But be careful while climbing the ladder because you may miss your steps, fall, and break your bones. I may be working with you for assistance. Just know, I don't like you. Bro, she seems to be the only one immune of your Sussex charm. <laughs> don't mind Imelda, she's just being a child. Yeah. <sighs> My love. Jesus Christ! How did you get in here? As you know, I have my way around anything. Whatever I want, I know how to get it. What are you doing here, Vicentia? Well, I thought we might just have another fun weekend. Drive me to your hotel, 
Or are you not happy to see me? <laughs> me happy to see you? God forbid! How the hell did you know I was here? Oh, Lois. She told me you had an appointment with the governor and her father. So I thought to, you know, be the first to congratulate you with a kiss before the press release. And also, this weekend is going to be just perfect for you and I. <laughs> Avalon, be a gentleman. Listen, I did not tell Lois about us. But hey, hey, listen to me. There is no us. Now you need to leave. Get out. How can you say there is no us? When I am with your baby, Avalon, we are meant to be together. <laughs> All right. It's time to throw you out. Get off the car! Ah! Get out! Get out of my car! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? Avalon, you made this violent move first. I promise you, you will regret it. Ow! Ow! Ah. This girl is a witch. Jesus. That's good. I saw how you forcefully dragged that lady out of your car. That doesn't mean you don't know how to treat a woman. Excuse me? Maybe one of your numerous girlfriends came and boom, business gone wrong. And you drove her out of your car. Excuse me? Oh. Behold her, her claws on your skin. Imelda, I'm not ready for your shenanigans right now. I'm not ready for your troubles. Do you understand? You have enough troubles already. I need to get all of these things handled once and for all. I need to get my hands on anything to take Vicentia out of my life and that of my family. I would rather act fast to bring her down before she brings me down.
So I wrote it all down, it will be clear. If you go through it now, you'll see that I made it easier for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Do you like this? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I'll write it down. And this, uh, please excuse me, my phone. Hi, babe. You're not home? Hi, honey. Are you home? Yeah, but you should be home. At least to know how my meeting went with the governor. I am so sorry, honey, but... I had this business, emergency business meeting with uh, Vicentia and I needed to attend to it. Vicentia again? But babe, I thought we agreed the business ends immediately. Yes, I know. But I'm sorry. It's just that she has paid me upfront for the business contracts and I need to deliver. You know, so that I can search for other alternative um, engagements. You know what, babe? Just come back home safe, okay? I'm home. Yeah, I'll just open the door with the spare. It's okay. Thank you. You too. Be good. <sighs> that was my husband. It's fine. Take your time. Okay. All right. I would have to go to the mall down the road. I need to get something. Okay, that's fine then. Nice. I love it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate <laughs> this. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank See you. you. All right. I'll just round it's up and fine. then leave. I knew you would call. Endeavor to see me at once. Else, the next collection of pictures will be sent directly to your wife's phone. You know how she would feel when I decide to make the game go dirty. Listen, I call the shots now. So obey the address given to you. You come, that I may give you the rudiments on how this is going to work.
always find a way, find a way. But I don't know you someone close to me. Close to me. Yeah. I was thinking they said us are coming from far away, far away. But I don't know it's coming from someone close to me. Close to me. In this life, in this life, trust nobody. Trust nobody. So many enemies in disguise. All they want is to pull you down. Guys, all they want is to pull you down. down. They are friendly enemies. Yeah. yeah. Careful. Yeah. I was thinking the enemy is far away. Far away. Mm. But I don't know you so. Close to